Behind me is a giant 7x7 wall, but surely it couldn't turn into a portal. Well, that's embarrassing. So yeah, we've got another one of these, and the whole thing is, in case you haven't seen the other videos, the dispenser dispenses water and takes it back, and that breaks the portal. And then some pistons and slime and honey push blocks out, and also from the floor. So you can see it breaks and the blocks come in. And then we pull the dispensers out of the way with these pistons, because you can do that in bedrock. And then when this one comes back up with a flinted seal, next to this redstone torch, because piston pushes up, that will light the portal again. So we fold the blocks back, and the portal comes back. So in case you don't want to build something this crazy big, we've got smaller versions, like here's a 3x3 one, that's the broken one, here's the working 3x3 one. We've also got 4x4, and there was a 5x5 and a 6x6. So how do you build it? So for the resources, we're going to need 39 redstone, 16 redstone repeaters, 10 redstone torches, 37 sticky pistons, 47 obsidian, 2 observers, 2 dispensers, and not droppers, even though they do similar things, you need dispensers to get the water and flint and steel to light the portal to work. Smooth stone slab, you're going to need one slab, uh, it can also be glass of any kind. One target block for directing some redstone. You're going to need 22 slime and 20 honey blocks, and this could also be 22 honey blocks and 22 slime, depends on which way around you do it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is decide where your portal is, and that decides everything else. So, it's 7 blocks across, and 10 blocks down. And you don't need to fill in the corners. So it's a big old portal. Then you're going to need four blocks behind it of space, you're going to need one block above it, and you're going to need two blocks below it. And the other stuff just goes to the two edges. So firstly, to get some blocks up from the floor, which are here, we just have sticky pistons under all of them. Like that. Then if we go to the back, we're going to place a block on each side, and then do sticky pistons aiming up and destroy those blocks. Then we're going to place a block above these sticky pistons, place dispensers aiming at the door, and destroy these blocks. I place obsidian between the dispensers to make it look nicer. Then we go two blocks behind the dispensers, and we just do a line of pistons, and then another one above it, across the entire door. Then destroy the blocks behind the dispensers. Now we alternate between slime and honey, and you go four blocks up in the air, like this. Okay, and now we're going to go to the top of this and place blocks. Then we're going to do another line of pistons, seven blocks wide, and another one above it. Now destroy the blocks we did at the back. And now you're going to do honey and slime, but the opposite way around, so if there's slime underneath, do honey. And if there's honey underneath, do slime. Like that. And then we're also going to have blocks in front of these, so I'm going to use some concrete and lights. Now for our input, we're going to go next to this bottom right piston. We're going to do a block next to it with redstone. Then we're going to do a couple of blocks going across with redstone and then a repeater. Then we're going to do a block next to this piston. Then next to the next three pistons, we're going to do blocks with redstone on them. Then next to this one on the other side, we're going to do a block with a repeater aiming to the side. And then a block between that and the redstone. Then the repeater is going to aim into a block with a block, of red, a block and redstone on the other side. So now we should be able to power all these pistons. Next to power the water that comes out of the dispenser to destroy the portal, we do an observer aiming up from this redstone into the obsidian. Then we do a block with a repeater on three ticks, and an observer aiming up with a redstone on top, and that will get powered by this observer and this obsidian, and then this observer, so the water comes out and goes back. Then that goes into a block. Then next to piston we're going to do a block with a repeater on three ticks like that, going to a block 
with a redstone torch on the piston side and a redstone torch on the other side, like that. In front of this torch we're going to do three blocks, then a block next to the other piston with the dispenser and do redstone on those so it gets powered. Now coming out the observer repeater block we're going to do a block to the back with the redstone, then a block there, then a block to the side with the repeater on its full delay, then that goes into a block, then a block aiming at the torch block with the repeater on its full delay again to keep the torch off for longer. Then on the block the redstone goes into we're going to do torch, block, torch, block, torch, block and then a final fourth torch and block. To power the bottom pistons we're first going to go underneath the slime and honey and do obsidian under all of those. Then we're going to do blocks behind the obsidian underneath the pistons like that. Then we're going to do blocks going across behind those but we're going to miss out the left and right side so like this. On the left side if you're at the back we're going to do a torch there so it's the same side as the observers. Then we do repeaters along the entire thing like that. Then redstone along the back. Except for the last repeater we do a target block to make the redstone power the target block and that repeater. And we're also going to have to set all of these repeaters to three ticks so one from the end like this. And that's going to power the bottom pistons when they get pushed by these ones above. So to power the ones above we go to the side to the subsidian the repeater aims into. We do a torch, do a block backwards with a redstone repeater on its default, go into a block with another torch, then a block above, and then we just do blocks along the side. Except for the last two, we do a block against the last piston, and then next to the second to last piston we go one block below and do a slab or glass, and we put redstone on that, and then along all the sides going to the torch. So we miss out the first block because this torch or this torch would power it, so that's why we have to stop here. But even though this redstone is aiming at this piston, it'll actually power this one, because bedrock is weird. So next to do the top pistons we go to the top of our torch tower, we do redstone, then a block to the side with a repeater going into a block, then we do obsidian along the top slime and honey with redstone on top of it, then on the other side of obsidian we do a block with redstone on top, then a block below next to piston with a full delay repeater going to a block with a block below like that with redstone on top. Now we go one block below again behind these pistons and we do blocks next to all of them except the last one we pull it next to the piston and we do redstone along all those and again even though this redstone is aiming at this piston it'll actually power this block which powers that piston as well. Okay lastly we're going to have to go to the other dispenser side so the one without the observers and just put a torch on this obsidian next to it and that means when it gets pushed back up it'll power and the portal will light from flint and steel. So we're going to test it first. So what I'm going to do is put two items in the water dispenser and actually I'll put more just to make sure that it doesn't throw out any extras to just see that the water would come out and go back before I spill water everywhere. And we'll also put some items in the flint and steel one to make sure that that chucks out an item. And test it we just turn this redstone on here. So. And we can see two items came out of this dispenser and when we turned it off an item came out of this one so that is working fine. And okay I did make a mistake because these blocks didn't come out properly and the mistake was this repeater at the top on the left side so the side without the observers that's on three ticks not full so one from the end. So now if we turn it on and turn it off it should go back where, it, where it's supposed to. And now we can put our water in, the dispenser on the right, and flint and seal on the left. Okay hope you enjoyed that and if you want to see more check out the channel and you can also get a world download in description and check out my Patreon as well if you want to throw money at my dumb face. Adios. Thank you.